NMSU is headed to the tournament for the seventh time in eight years, and this year the Aggies are looking to finally pull off the upset that's eluded them for so long. At 30 and 4 on the season and riding a 19 game winning streak into the big dance, the Aggies are hopeful that this is the year to be Cinderella. KTSM 9 Stephanie Shields has more from the Pan American Center. That's right, Colin. The madness is starting here at New Mexico State, and the Aggies are ready for it after learning they'll be facing off number five seed Auburn in the round of 64 of the tournament on Thursday in Salt Lake City. Everybody on off the court, everybody's just locked in. Everybody's got a ton of vision on the mission and the task at hand. Um, now this year we have at least four, and sometimes five guys that can shoot the three and spread the floor for us better. And I think we're in a better position offensively to play against these type of teams. New Mexico State hoping to clinch its first official NCAA tournament win since 1970. The Aggies earned their 22nd tourney berth after taking down Grand Canyon by 32 points in the WAC championship game. NMSU is planning to make a run in the tournament, and their March Madness experience plus proximity to home in this year's big dance could be major factors. Yeah, hopefully it'll help our fan base be able to get more fans there. But, you know, when you're in this type of thing, you really don't care where they send you. You're just excited to be a part of it. For the guys that's been here and, and been through this, this NCAA tournament process, you know, it's, 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 it's a big key to, you know, get the younger guys that have, hasn't been there, you know, on board and, and focused. The winner of the New Mexico State and Auburn game will face the winner of number four seed Kansas and number 13 Northeastern in the second round of the tournament. In Las Cruces, Stephanie Shields, back to you. Thank you.